Hey guys, Candace here. I am freshly laundered and ready for bed as soon as I pick the girls up from school. Um, but I was looking at the trees and we have to jump in on this Mugo pine. Um, it's planted in this dragon shell. This summer it will be repotted into something a little bigger, though it's done very well in this the last couple seasons. It was probably just a little too aggressive for where it's at in development. Um, and so I'm going to put it in a, you know, just a little bigger shallow round. Um, but our candles, our candles have elongated and are just starting to open up. So this is the time we need to go in and look at our buds and redistribute the energy throughout that. So I'm going in and I'm looking at all of my bud sizes. So if we look at these two buds here, these are equal size and they're fairly short and small. So I'm not going to do anything with them because they are weak buds. Um, in contrast, if we go and we look at this one, at this candle here, it is nearly three times the length of that and quite a bit bigger. So what we want to do is we're going to reduce our candles so that they are all pretty much the exact same length, therefore telling the tree that all of these pieces are equally important and we want to keep them. I don't know if I really like pines yet. I find that they're extremely awkward until, and they take a while to kind of, you know, hit their, hit their pretty face. <laughs> Uh, but so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in just with my fingers and look at where we're at and I'm just going to take it off. Ooh, take off a chunk of it and now it is very much more the same size as those other candles. Um, so I'm just going to finish going in here and equalizing my candles out. So we have our two weak ones that we're leaving alone. We did get some back budding last season down this branch on this hardwood, old hardwood here. It's likely that we will probably cut it back at some point. I'm just gonna go through. Also, this next week is supposed to be warm and I am so happy because right now with the temps being right in that, um, around that 45 degree mark, that is the optimal time that funguses take hold. So with our conifers and our junipers, generally what we're gonna see is a tip light. So I usually use a uh, mancazeb or dacanel for that, and I spray it preventatively. So I just don't wanna spray that big chemical inside here. So I'm going to be doing that on this coming Monday. Um, today's actually July, no, oh, I really need to go to bed. Um, today's actually April 6th or 7th, somewhere in there. Yeah, so, and Monday's, Sunday is Easter. What is that, the 8th or 9th? I have to work this weekend, so it doesn't matter, but um, next week is supposed to be like, I don't know, massive, massive warm up. So I don't know, it was like 12 degrees yesterday, but then starting Monday, it is supposed to be 50 during the day and 70s at night. No, <laughs> Jesus, 70s during the day and 50 at night. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last but I definitely want to get these guys out and at least get them sprayed with that first application. I usually do that once a week until all of that new growth has, has flushed out and that kind of prevents a lot of issues. But I really think that was it. You look good, you look good. Ooh, you, you're hiding. So next what I want to do is grab our, next I need to do is water you, but I'm going to go grab the big Chinese elm and we're going to take a little momentary pause on repotting at this point and hopefully this next week also we'll get those junipers out and see what's going to go in that circle cascade pot. But let's do some pruning. Well, I guess we're going to need to back out. 
Well, the big Chinese elm is identifying as a weeping willow. Um, so this is our post spring flush hardened off pruning and we are more than ready. So what we're waiting for is generally about eight to 10 leaves to come out and that central stem has started to brown, redden, harden off, lignify, um, which is occurring about six inches out from these spots. But the repotting takes priority, this could wait. So it's now time to go in and all right, so this is a tree in refinement. So we are pushing back to create that fine twigging within our structure. Our primary branches are set, our secondary branches are set with the ex with the exception that this middle area here, we need to look at closer because I needed some more length and extension here. And then we need to push back this quite a bit. So it's a good thing I let that go. Cause that's where we were needing more extension was right here jeez it's a hot mess holy cow now we did all the structure cuts and some of that structure work while it was not in leaf because it is impossible impossible to do structure work when the tree looks like that so we're gonna go in and remember we cut back, and this is Ada. We don't generally count that first leaf. I mean, when we say we have length, we have length here. Because that first leaf generally coming off is an unreliable bud. So if you're cutting back to two or three, you don't count that very first one. Um, the technical name for it is a Sousa. Sousa leaf, Sousa bud, Sousa, Sousa. All right, so I'm just going to start at the bottom of the tree and work my way up. But then I'm going to skip the middle here, go to the apex, and then reevaluate where we are with that length there. You know just what you do, you do to me. Play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings. Did it ever occur to you, my heart's more than a toy? Please go easy on me, babe. All right, the big Chinese elm no longer looks like a weeping willow. Um, this part here, we just allowed it to elongate and then we pushed the canopy back quite a bit. Um, the angle on this camera doesn't catch it quite right, but the shape is actually quite nice. We have some filling in yet to do to here. This tree's just in um, its third stage of development, the ramification stage, and just in the last couple, what, season, year, we've been working on developing this tertiary structure within this tree. There we go. This tree is done and it no longer looks like a weeping willow and it's ready to put out a, another flush of beautiful growth for us. So it's gonna go back in the bathroom in its south facing window where it's been spending its time coming out in spring glory. And Jay, if you're watching, oops, we took off, we took off a tree. Here's your carnage cam, but all right. I hope you guys are having a great weekend coming up here and have fun have fun with your bonsai love you guys love you all